What it do, baby? <laughs> What it do, baby? Yeah. Hey, y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title and my thumbnail, we're going to be moving along with this color series. And purple is next. I actually did this look for one of my supporters. I was fortunate enough to do her makeup for her quinceanera pictures. I'll post some pictures right here. But her theme was a galaxy theme. And she wanted, like, some purples and pinks for her eyeshadow. So this is kind of the look that I did for her. The only difference is the glitter liner. I didn't do that for her. I just had to do that for me because I'm extra. And I wanted to, like, spice up the look a little bit more. But yeah, once again, I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. We're only going to be focusing on the eyes today. I'm kind of liking that format for right now because I don't want my videos to be like super duper long and I feel like it kind of gets repetitive when I'm doing my face makeup because I do it the same in all my videos. So we're just going to focus on the eyes today. But we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the video. But before we do, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But if you want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and please keep on watching. All right, so you guys already know the drill. I have my brows done. I did one eye off camera already, and we're gonna go ahead and do this one, obviously. We're gonna see if I can do that to this eye too. <laughs> Alrighty, so to go ahead and start, I'm gonna grab my Morphe 35B palette, and I'm gonna be using this purple first, and then this pink, and then this dark purple. So those are the colors I'm using. <laughs> I'm just packing it. I'm gonna pack it all over my lid, and now we're gonna be blending out this edge with, um, with that hot pink color. And then I'm gonna slowly blend. But yeah, so I'm just blending this purple in. I'm just kind of blending the edges lightly because I don't want like any harsh lines, but at the same time, this isn't blended very good. You know what I mean? But we're also gonna be packing another color on top of that, so it's gonna help blend. But I just want this purple to be popping. So to blend this purple out, I'm going to be taking this pink color right here and I'm using a pretty small um, like pencil brush and I'm just going to blend this on the outer part of this purple. You know what? I messed up. Before we do the pink, I want to highlight. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to be taking this silver shade right here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's, it's really pretty. And I'm going to just pop this under the brown bone. The reason why I have like blue eyeshadow on this brush is because I also use this brush for my lid and the same color for my lid. So and when it comes to flat brushes, I like using both sides because because I'm not trying to get multiple brushes dirty. Tell me if you know. Is my light too bright? Is that better? No, is that too dark? I feel like that might be too dark. I don't know. No, I think that's good. Okay. Okay. I turned my brightness down a little bit so maybe you can see. But now that I have my brow bone highlight on there, now I can blend with the pink. So this is gonna go right in between. And I'm also taking this all the way like in the inner corner as well. I'm gonna pick up some more of that purple because you see that like harsh mark right there? I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna try to blend this out. What is that? Do you see that? Why? Why is that like that? I don't know, but we're gonna end up covering it up later, so it doesn't even matter. So I'm gonna just keep packing the purple into the crease. Now to deepen up our crease, I'm gonna be picking up this darker purple right here. And then I'm just putting that right in the crease too. Hopefully this covers up the like patch. And then I'm just kind of blending that out a little bit with this other brush. Now I'm gonna just be cutting my crease. You guys already know the drill with this. I'm just using a little bit of foundation. And we just don't Cut it. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go ahead and speed it up because this takes forever. <laughs> okay, so boom, we got a cut crease. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be going back into this palette, picking up this silver shade, and then I'm gonna be using this blue shade on the lid. Now I'm going to do the blue shade and pack that right here. 
right here in the center. So next I'm going to be taking this Artist Couture Diamond Light Finisher and this is in Spotlight Glitz and pop that on top of this like silvery shade. It's going to give it a little pink tint, but that's what I like. It's going to look really like sparkly. Now I'm going to go back in with some of that purple just to blend out this outer corner. I'm going to take a tiny little bit of black, like a tiny bit just to deepen this part up a little bit more. See, 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 see. So next I'm gonna be adding some holographic glitter. I honestly have no idea where this little tube came from. I found it in like my makeup drawer thing. And so I was like, cool, it's like a chunky holographic glitter. So I'm gonna be using this and then use like a tiny, tiny detail brush. And then I'm just gonna be drawing the glitter on. So this makeup look is actually a look that I did on a client. I don't really do freelance makeup that much anymore. But one of my sorority sisters hit me up and was like, hey sis, my niece is having her quinceanera pictures taken this weekend. Like, do you think you could do her makeup? And I was like, yeah, she's in San Antonio. Like I can just drive down the highway, go do her makeup real quick, you know, whatever. It's for my sister. And her quinceanera theme is a galaxy theme, which I was like, I love that theme. I've never met somebody who had a galaxy space type of quinceanera theme. So I was like, that's amazing. I have to do her look. <laughs> so I did this look for her, but this part that I'm doing right here is just a little twist that I decided to do on myself. But she looked so beautiful and I was so excited to do her makeup. And she actually was a big supporter of mine. Her and her sister like told me that they watched all my videos and stuff. So I was really excited to do her makeup and I'm so happy that they reached out to me because it was an honor to do one of my supporters makeup for her quinceanera so thank you girl for reaching out to me thank you Mari Cruz for reaching out to me as well i appreciate you guys so next i'm going to be taking this nyx liner this is the vivid violet one and i'm just going to be outlining the glitter just to make it pop a little bit more I'm kind of sad because these aren't the same at all. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell my camera. This one has way more of like a curve right here. This one gets, you know what? You know what? Once you have the lashes on, you can't even tell. So we're just, just gonna keep it going. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and did the rest of my face. I just wanted to come back on camera to do my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up this pink shade and put that underneath. And I'm just taking that same pencil brush that we used before. I'm gonna just pop this all underneath here. Uh oh, hold up. So next I'm gonna just go ahead and take this dark purple right here. Go to your bed, Levi. Levi, your bed. Levi, careful, baby. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this pink liner. It's the same thing, the Vivid Brights liner, Vivid Petal, that's the name of it. I'm gonna just put this in my waterline. And be careful when you do this, you don't wanna get this stuff in your eye. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. I just got this one. This is the Essence The False Lashes Mascara. And just in case you guys were wondering for my lips, I'm using this NYX lip liner pencil. It's curved because it melted in my car. And for lips, I use this All May lipstick and this is in the shade Worry Less. It's kind of like a purpley mauve nude color. And then on top of that lipstick to give it like the shine, I use this Artist Couture highlighter in the shade Yes. And it's like a pinkish highlighter, so I just like dab that on top of my lips and it looks great. All right, you guys, so that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave me some comments letting me know what you think about this look and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.